Hi everyone. I'm Ahmed and the co-author and my advisor is Dr. Derja. We are from Ethiopia. Now I'm going to present our accepted paper entitled Review of Markov Chain and its Application in Telecommunication Systems. These are the contents that I'll be covering in the next slides. First, we'll see the introduction of the paper. Uh, it includes the state of art, objective, and scope. And the introduction using equations will be presented and different application, telecommunication application selected from the paper or PC. Mathematical model is a description of our real world system used to model, predict, and solve any kind of problems. So these models can be um, deterministic or statistics model. So for this paper, we used a statistics model, which is which includes the element of randomness. And from this model, we chose um, Markov model, and it is presented. A Markov model is a type of probabilistics model used in different fields of science and engineering to model the real world. It assumes that the future state depends only on the current states, not on the previous past states. So now, this model was first developed by the Russian mathematician named by Andrei Markov in 1906. So depending whether the states are fully or partially observable, Markov model is classified as Markov chain and hidden Markov model. Nowadays, Markov chain are used to model different situations and to solve problems, also to uh, predict the future. So the intention of this paper is to fulfill the gap between the fundamental concept of Markov chain and its application. The objective is divided into two. So it's gen gen the general objective is to present the idea in Markov chain and how it is modeled in telecommunication technologies. And the specific objectives are to review the concepts to understand the Markov chain and hidden Markov model and to conduct different literature reviews of, of them and its application in communication systems. As said earlier, Markov chain assumes future state is dependent only on the current state, not on the past states, and it is called numerous. And this situation is called Markov property. If we want to add accuracy to the model, higher order Markov chain can be used. Uh, so they include the past prediction of the future states. And one of a good example for this is a natural language processing. So Markov chain assumes the real life system are made up of states, which can be output situational or random variable. So the sequence of these states generated in time makes the state space, which can be countable or continuous. And the transition from one state to another gives a transition probability shown in this equation. So the collection of this probability will form a transition matrix. So how Markov chain work is first we need to identify the state space. Then we need to know the initial state vector. After we know the two, we're gonna have to determine the transition probability matrix. Then by using the matrix, the state probability will be identified in different iteration. After a certain iteration, the matrix will reach its state, state or its equilibrium. We'll see this in example in the next slides. So let's consider a mobile system with three base station and a single user. So as a state, we're gonna have three cells uh, which have three base station, base one, base two, and base three. Observing the mobility pattern over time interval. In the new um, course, the possible scenario for the user to be likely on the same cell or uh, the other two cells. So the transition diagram is shown in the slide. The transition probability is given by a three by three matrix with the probability coefficient 
found from certain calculation. Uh, if you want to know how this calculation is done, please refer the paper. So the summation of this tension probability in different row is or will be one. So for this example, after the sixth transition, the matrix will remain the same and it will reach its steep state or equilibrium. Um, in addition to the Markov property, Markov chain has additional properties like uh, if we have two states, uh, if one state travels to the other state with probability greater than zero, this property is called communicating state. Uh, the other property is an observing state. In this property, if a system entered in one state and loops and stays at the same state, it's called absor absorbing state in the tangent state. If a state, uh, if a system entered in one state and never returned to this state again, it's called tangent state. And these are the properties, uh, some properties. If you want to go, if you want to know in detail, please refer the paper. As said earlier, telecommunication system in Markov chain uh, are used in multiple ways. So um, we're going to see some of them in the next slides. Hidden Markov model, R statistics model applied when state are hidden. The model assumes the presence of the other observable parameters, which are called uh, emissions, are related to the hidden states having a certain priority. So in addition to the transition matrix and the initial state priority, which is denoted as P and U respectively, a uh, hidden Markov model will add another, uh, another term, which is emission priority, denoted as E. So the first application of Markov chain is used in prediction of natural language. Uh, in the process, text uh, compression and automated text generator are included. Each later has a certain probability of occurrence depending on the language and context. Um, and this group of uh, later will form words and then sentence and paragraph as well. We all know we all know that a new wireless technology and innovation caused the raise the raise in demand for radio spectrum and this has to be modeled and predicted accurately. Um, here we're going to have two uh, spectrum users, primary and secondary. So the primary spectrum users will allow the second user to share band, which is initially located to the first uh, spectrum. So here in this application, hidden Markov model is used. So in hidden state, the Spectrum shared in primary and the secondary, which can be occupied or busy, are mentioned. So it's noted as X with zero and one. So the observable state is the prediction of the average fraction of time that the primary user is occupying the channel. It can be free or idle and it's denoted as Y. So in the slide, the figure shows the transition diagram for the spectrum occupancy prediction for for cognitive radio using a Markov chain model. In mobility prediction, the uh, cellular network, actually we have seen it in previous example, but uh, to see it in detail, the states are, the states is a user connected to a given cell over time. And the state transition is if a user moves from one cell to another cell. So the transition matrix is the possible movement of the user using the coverage area. And the initial distribution will be the user initial states. So this is the transition diagram for the Nobel prediction. So using this uh, matrix, the mobility prediction for the cellular network is using Markov chain model is modeled and predicted. To deliver reliable service to the customer, to users, 
mobile operator monitor the network. This network can be 4G or 5G. Uh, so using a different uh, kind of uh, key performance indicator. So here, the accessibility and the retainability are used to model and predict the network using Markov chain. For each parameter, uh, four states was introduced as idle, good, acceptable, and bad state with four by four uh, transition matrix. The third and the fourth figure shows uh, the transition probability diagram of the parameters. After the matrix are identified, the matrix uh, is used to predict first to model, then to predict the future of the accessibility and retainability of the network uh, system. And the accuracy was 96.09% uh, and 96.87% 96 for acceptability and retainability. Uh, Markov chain is a simpler but powerful tool to model different system. It assumes the future state depends only on the current state, as uh, it makes it memoryless and it has a, a Markov property. And Markov chain is used to model, solve, and predict different situations. And uh, its accuracy is higher from other uh, time series models. But to increase the accuracy, a uh, higher order Markov chain can be used. Currently, hidden Markov models are widely used for different kind of applications. So uh, this is the presentation that I have. Hopefully the review uh, provides good insight of the basic concept of Markov chain and some telecommunication system application as well. Thank you.